Hi guys, this is the single mirror system smart physics problem. Okay, you can read the full question in the description below. So we have an object and they told us that the image was 1.26 here. Okay. And uh, they want to see if this is a convex or or concave mirror. Maybe we can look at it conceptually, but let's do it by math first. So one over f will be equal to one over s plus one over s prime. Okay. So 1 over s is, the s is the um, distance between the mirror and the object, so this is 1, 5, 2. Well, let's put a negative because this is 0, is the x equals 0, and here all of them is negative. Negative 1 over s prime is minus 1, 2, 6.4. So you'll get a negative value for the um, focal point so let's just plug in those numbers so 152 plus 126.4 power negative so we got negative 69.011 okay so this negative is that means that the focal point is somewhere here because it's negative here. So it's 6, 9, okay? But since it's the focal point is um, in the same where the object is, that means that the focal point is going to be negative. I guess it's going to be, I mean, positive, which means that the, um, the mirror here is concave, okay? So the mirror here is concave. Okay, and they told us that if it's concave, then f is positive. Okay, and here we got um, because it's concave, then the f will be positive. Then f is positive. Okay, so we'll change this to positive. So the answer for this is sixty-nine centimeters positive. Okay. <coughs> So remember that it's concave, it's going to look like this. Okay. Right, so this was number one. So number two is what is the y, the y coordinate of the image, of the tip of the arrow. Okay. So what we're going to use is so h prime over h equal negative s prime over s. Okay, so this guy is h prime. This is what we want, to, what we were looking for, and then minus um, and the height that they gave us is three point five one, and then the s prime is. Um, S prime is the one two six point four and put a negative also for this guy. And then the S is negative one five two. Okay, I'm keeping everything here like the same as they gave us. Okay. So so you can see here that we'll get a negative value, because this negative is gonna be positive then our answer will be negative. 3.51 times 126.4 divided by 152. And we get so negative 2.91. Okay. So this is our answer. Cool. Okay, so 
So question number three is asking. Hmm. So now our x image new is so now the image which is s prime will be equal to two five two point eight minus and the focal point will stay the same which is minus six nine okay so what do you want to know is um, the what the y how height is the um, how height is the image that's going to be produced when we have these conditions all right so let's find the s so again 1 over f plus equal for s plus 1 over s prime so 1 over s is 1 over minus 69 and take this to the other side which will be negative 1 over s or this one which is negative it's going to change to positive 252.8 equal to 1 over s so let's plug this so negative 69 minus plus 252.8 answer oops delete so we got for us we got 94.9 and it's negative so our s will be in the negative 94.9 so it's somewhere mm, somewhere here if we said that this is the focal okay so we want to find the h prime now so h prime using the same one it's negative um, and our s prime is negative 252.8 times the h the initial h which was 3.5151 the whole thing divided by the um, divided by the s the S was the one we found, which is negative 94.9. So you can see that the answer will be negative here, right? This, 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 three negatives. Okay, so let's plug it. 252.8 times 3.51 divided by 94.9. So we got... So we get 9.35 and it's negative here, okay. So I think that telling us that the image will be um, flipped, okay. The image will be flipped and yeah, the image will be flipped in this case than the original all right so let's go to number four let's do number four here so the total of that that the the object now is so s is equal to negative 37 points three and you can see here that it's um Like the distance here is less than the less than the focal point, so the object will be somewhere here. Okay, so now the um, the image that's going to be produced will be here. Okay, one that is going right into this. One is going right into this, so it looks some something like this. Okay, so 
we still have the same focal point, which is negative 69. Cool. And we need to find the same thing. We need to find h prime. So here, let's find the the s prime. So one over f, and let's just take this to the other side. One over s equal one over s prime. Okay. So one over f is one over sixty nine. It's negative, and then negative, negative, 1 over 3, 7.3, 3, 1 over s prime. So s prime will be equal to 69 to the power minus 37.3. So we got 81.18, and it should be positive. I just flipped those, guys. So it's 81.18, and it's positive. Okay. So that means that the the object is, because this is positive, and all the S prime and the focal point was positive, that means the object was on the other side of what we started. Okay. So the object will be like 80 centimeters away. Okay. So now let's see if, if it was flipped, if it was not. So h prime over h equal s prime minus over s. So it's minus s prime was um, 81.18. The H, which is um, the one we started, 3.51 divided by divided by the the S, and the S is the negative 37.3. .3. You can see the answer is positive, right? So we'll get H prime will be equal to positive. So times minus one. Alright, so this guy times three point five one divided by thirty seven point three. So we get positive seven point six four. Okay, so this is the height. It will be bigger than the one we got here. Okay. Alright, so the edge here means that it's um, upright and then the the S prime, it, it was positive, and it's the initial was negative. The S, the distance was negative, and now it's positive, which means that the the image was on the other side where the object is. Okay. All right, and the last question is is kind of simple. So they give us this, and Here's this. Okay. If we say that this is the focal point, and one line was going like this, and one was going like this, should be parallel, and one stupid one that's going this way and going like this. So this is the wrong guy, okay? Which I think it's B. Let's be. All right, guys. I hope this helped. Good luck. Smiley face.